Virginia, Virginia. Don't even know my name. Virginia, Virginia. Nothing changes, baby. Nothing changes. Hey, everybody, this is Scott the Brawler Brawl here, and we're live in Virginia, Minnesota with Paul Metza. And this is Paul Metz's Power Hour event. Paul, what is this all about? I've been doing it for about 20 years. I do an annual food shelf fundraiser around Christmas time called Holiday and Ice Cubes. And uh, about a month ago, literally, I was playing up in Duluth, and I thought, why not do uh, you know, a food shelf fundraiser in my hometown of Virginia, Minnesota, the Queen City of the Iron Range? Because people up here, some people are really hungry, and uh, let's feed them for the whole community of Virginia. How long did it take you to plan this? On and say, no, some of the best musicians in Minnesota on my little Rolodex. <laughs> so I just, you know, started making phone calls and it, it didn't take long to put a really nice lineup of musicians together. What's really fun about this, number one, uh, my band Cats and the Stars, that debuted on that stage 40 years ago, August 17th. 40 Nine, years? Yeah, I know. It's I, Wow. Yeah, I know. It's a long time. Uh, August 17th, 1975. Hey everybody, it's Scott the Brawler Brawl with Scott Asbach from Hometown Focus here in beautiful Virginia, Minnesota. Scott, can you tell me what's going on today? Yes, certainly. You know, about three and a half weeks ago, Paul Metza contacted me and said, you know, well, let's do something for the community up here. Plus we have the music, the culture, the people, and food shelves. So we put it all together and we just figured we'd step up to the plate. You get it? Step up to the plate for the food shelf. No pun intent, or was the pun intended? Yes, it was. That is awesome. I interviewed Paul earlier today, and he said that everything came together too smooth, and he's so pleasantly surprised how the community, the music community mostly, all came together. Um, what's your feel on that? Well, I think it speaks to the Iron Range, the music culture that, that we have, and the musicians that we have up here. And we get together to do these type of venues, and with this type of venue, we talk to a lot of people of looking at it, it's gonna be an annual event now. And I guess there's more things that are coming behind it. Could be even a wrestling match, get a it? A wrestling match. And the brawler would be happy to come back to beautiful Virginia for a wrestling match. So the donations, people are bringing food, uh, you get all this volunteer uh, musicians, everything's going to the uh, Virginia food, food shelf? Is the food right? shelf, yes. And there's been cash donations, not only the food donations that we got today. So with your vision, three and a half weeks, you, you came together and, and said something along the lines of, hey, how much how much food are we gonna raise? Or how much, how mu how much food are, is gonna be donated? How much money are we gonna raise? Or how good of a time are people gonna have so the next time they come back they're gonna bring friends and we're gonna do even bigger and better is that right absolutely we had no idea whether it'd be 50 or 500 but you know what if you have faith and you believe and which we did and god graced us with a beautiful day with Amen. a lot of friends and especially like with you guys helping out to even to help promote this next year will be bigger and better than ever do you have any other projects uh, that, that you're working on other than the wrestling uh, yes, I am. In fact, uh, right with the guys that we're talking to right now, we're looking at some video productions for the, for the range area, coming in different types of show forms, could be reality shows, could be, we're looking for some different ideas, and right now, several community members have stepped up, so we got a lot of really great so you, stuff. You're pretty connected with, uh, with wide range films in Virginia, Minnesota. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we just started working on a couple of gigs together, and this one right here is going to be one of our show times really proud of it and it's and what a great group of guys that come up here not only that of looking at it they saw the the foresight to come to the area of northern minnesota where a lot of people don't drift up this far scott hometown focus scott the brawler bro wide range films can't thank you enough for your time oh thank you and pleasure. god bless god bless you Tonight I'm 
Scott the Brawler Brault here. We're going to do a little experiment with people of Virginia, Minnesota and just see how honest these people are. Hometown Focus gave me a hundred dollar bill business card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this during the concert here and um, we're going we're to see how many people are actually honest enough to, uh, to give it back. Come on, come with me. I cannot believe the honesty of the people up here on the Iron Range. I dropped this thing a number of times. There were some people that wanted to be on camera. There was people that didn't want to be on camera. But I tell you what, it all came back to me every single time. Just because it's a little plug, people still thought it was real and they still returned it. I cannot believe the way this community comes together. God bless them. God bless everybody. And thanks for letting me be part of this.